Hey there people, what's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm doing just two videos. One is a fragrance review, which I've already finished. I'll upload this side by side with this one. I don't know which one's going to be uploaded first, but uh, I actually reviewed one of my most favorite fragrance of recent time, Equity Parma Colonia Club. Check out the review uh, if it's already live, okay? So this second episode, I want to talk about something serious. I don't want to pick up six, seven topics because I want to talk about two topics and I want to discuss or share with you guys and basically it would be a response video to chad a gentleman's journey his video he recently uh, uploaded i don't know if you're familiar with his channel i'll leave a link below he is one of the best guys in fragrance community okay i'm not just to butter him up or kiss his ass because he gave me this nice platform he gave me a start this guy gave a start to i keep saying it you know like i'm one of his apprentice sort of uh when in 2016 i started my channel like you know just very basic channel and he said joy do you want to be a part of my collab work so chad mcchesney i think if i'm not butchering his last name but chad basically a big guy big heart uh, this guy recently uploaded a video he actually something is bothering him because in real life you know life is not always smooth so this is gonna be a bit serious topic i'm gonna be talking about two things one is uh sort of trolls okay and the other thing is uh kind of like hatred or you know like negativity let's talk about that a little bit okay because you are humans if you feel like this is not your uh, forte this is not something that interests you uh, or it's not entirely fragrance related it is kind of fragrance related because we are in fragrance community so i'm not starting up anything it's not drama people who feel like uh, others are doing videos and you have to label it as drama you can skip the video okay i'll talk about some bitter experience i had uh, recent times so i will share a few things okay because uh, in my journey a lot of interesting people and interesting things that happen so coming back to chad uh, you guys all know he is very open about his life and he did say this in video that do not share your personal information where you work and uh, who is your family member do not share it because uh, you know in a strange world like we live in in social media we don't know who's who and who is in immediate danger who's watching you who has bad intentions and someone recently is disturbing him in his personal life, you know, like call, calling up his um, company, trying to get him fired or something like that, causing trouble basically. And he, they're just doing it because they hate him. They hate his guts. So Chad is one guy, like I'll tell you, he's on the funniest. He has great humor, great heart. And I'm just saying it from brother to brother. I really feel I could connect to this guy. He was, has been like a great uh, support to guys like me. Okay, Chris. Who passed away but he's always our best friend in our heart uh, he used to give us like Chris used to also give me time and listen to me when I was going through depression so Chad does that he once in a while messages me well not many reviewers check on me but he is one of them who does he checks on many people are they doing okay uh, are they doing all right when they're not in the scene for some time because he understands mental health is important and he goes through uh, some things in his life that makes him sad and he went to very dark places uh, so good guys like this you know like when they're attacked it kind of feels like it sucks you know nobody stands up for them because nowadays world is very selfish if you have nothing to gain uh, people don't usually like come support you because like why unnecessary trouble Let, let's screw that guy you know this is the mentality you have right now uh, yeah we have it once in a while but not for everybody okay Chad is one guy I would stand up I would just add and I'll just support him uh, so whoever is doing it I know he shared with me and I have good idea I talked to recently uh, some other reviewers no names but stuff that I heard in fragrance comedy that goes on uh, it's not like a drama video once again but that I heard that great people big names big shot people what they are like in real life it really absolutely is disgusting okay you would imagine like people with a lot of money they have big companies and stuff they're very nice people but you know ellen degeneres like she is she used to be one of my most favorite uh hosts in a comedy show or something but uh like when i used to watch conan conan is one guy actually conan lopez these guys turn out to be great guys letterman great guy uh like you know but not everybody's really nice in real life so what i'm trying to say right now the world is full of nowadays very vindictive people trolls they always try to demotivate you, pull you back, sort of like the crap theory we have in Bangladesh, like we believe, we see nowadays. If someone is being successful in doing something, if they're happy, if they're trying to become better in life or they have a nice car, people constantly pull them down, try to, 
bring them down with that crab legs so they cannot go over and go for freedom you know they cannot go for happiness so people ruin your happiness people ruin your day okay it's very serious why is it very serious you can say that yeah i'm strong enough these things don't bother me not true for everybody some people are very soft-hearted they look like strong shell outside the core but inside they're very soft they're still innocent okay not everybody is corrupt like some douchebags are okay i'm gonna say that today and i know which people i'm talking about and i don't want to name them but i know there are some heartless people out there so people who are doing <clears throat> fragrance community what do they get out of it first of all uh not much if you are a fragrance reviewer you know yourself that not everybody is earning money like jeremy okay not everybody is a model boy okay like they're going to be hiring them giving them a ferrari most of the people are doing this out of their passion every single reviewer that i love know and i know that if steven guys like steven mark sebastian zara even again and again these names will pop up always because these are great reviewers uh in india you know like few reviewers you know so the thing is like what i'm trying to say uh, people who are doing this they're doing it only trust me out of love if they're doing it op decant page they're, they're selling perfumes they want to get fragrances so they can review for you they want to engage with the community it interests them it makes them happy so in that process it's hard to believe from as a normal person that uh, uh, fragrances can make enemies fragrances can cause hatred yes it can why uh, do you think any country is bad no no country world is not a bad place nature is not a bad place water is not bad mountains are not bad we human beings go up there in the mountains we do shit up there we go in the ocean we dump uh, uh, waste i'm gonna go a little bit take it out today and we are so toxic inside nowadays i'm gonna just say all of us not anybody's exempted and we just constantly make everybody's life more difficult more challenging try to bring them down try to hurt them and when we cannot do what they do it makes us jealous we just dislike their video we just write a nasty comment leave it there that hey uh that you know your your this is like you're not good enough your video is not good enough your sound is not good enough your content is not good enough you have done 2400 videos you are not good enough some people will just randomly say you are a retard yes it happened recent times and i actually decided to walk out from the community of that particular country sorry to say uh if my friends from that particular country know that i lived there for 19 years and i actually felt why i'm upset that you know you have certain connection with the country you know and you don't actually expect people to say one day that get out of my country or uh, go back to your country and you you have those people you know like it's it's it happens every country has their share of illiterate people hurtful people and even if you don't have education many people are kind some people are not kind okay and they say the worst thing that will actually hurt you and then taunt you in your nightmares if you're a good person you will not get back at them but it will take time for you to heal that wound uh, recently something happened in one of the groups no names nothing i don't want to bring down their business or anything because i have a bigger heart than them but I, it was very difficult to see kind of like a racist attack and then kind of like a personal attack name calling and my friends from that particular country will know what i'm talking about and i saw that i posted a video it was taken down by the moderator and it, i i became hurt you know so uh, there is nowadays people actually support people who are big shots bullies and even if they are like evil people just support them once in a while very little people good people they they are like angels they just quiet you know this is what's happening in the world devils are everywhere bad people everywhere they are just continuously negative trolls um and they actually ruin great great people's lives if you're not mentally strong they will actually force you to commit suicide you know and they will just laugh like ha 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 loser is down so i will say yeah i i am not a very good guy i will not say that i'm the best guy out there i also have my downsides i have my negative sides i have a lot of weaknesses i have short temper i get very angry when i feel insulted or someone is misbehaving with me uh, and then you see i see people with no manners absolutely they cut queues and then they rude to people they mistreat people it really gets me angry i get i even break sometimes one or bit two bit of my teeth here and there when i just like you know get half mode but what else can we do we cannot break the law right so solution for this situations you know toxic people negative people trolls uh, they will not stop until 
uh, they themselves feel that they're doing something wrong. They look at themselves and feel like, oh, I'm calling someone who's well respected in the community. We call them like a retard out of nowhere. And they don't look at themselves like what they are doing, who they are, how far are their influence, what are they doing for the community in the world. And they say something like that just out of a misunderstanding, how it hurts someone else. So I just always felt, you know, like this connection with those people where I lived before there. Nowadays, I feel like I never want to go back there. You know, when I see so much hatred, racial hatred, and it's there, people just really want to take it out. Like they are from certain religion. I cannot talk about other religion. I can talk about mine. Our people go to mosque, okay? Not everybody, but a lot of people. Look at the hypocrisy that we do. I'm just going to talk about my people. You guys talk about your people. If you're a Christian, you should talk about Christians when they go to church and they're still doing bad shit out there. Our people go pray five times a day and they never ever pay taxes. They never pay zakat. They never help the poor needy. They take bribes. They screw other people in work. They cheat. They are rude. They beat people up under them. And this is when you do that, what's the purpose of you being religious? It makes no sense. It makes no difference. Okay, if you're not a nice human being, if you feel you are the only one who's best, rest are bad. Like countries like Saudi, our people go there, poor people go there to work. Sometimes they feel like I saw news, like they're abused, they're beaten, they're not given money, they're not paid. The workers go to different countries and they're treated there like you're dirty, you know. Same religion. Same religion, but different race. They look at, oh, you are darker, so we hate you. Racism stays everywhere. I see a lot of videos and I feel like we should need some street justice, you know. Uh, I really feel there are good people out there who stand up for the right cause. I'm talking random today, but I have to do this, okay. So people like Chad, just talk about people like Chad. Good guy, honest guy, honest reviewer. Great reviewer, great news, great experience, a veteran in the game. And people go after him, how low they can be. Okay, So you people who are watching, they know that I know who you are. So when you hurt my friend, you hurt me too. It bothers me when my friend is in pain. Okay, So it happens to best of us. So today you might think it's not my problem. It's not happening with me. It will happen with you one day. If you do not stand up for the right cause. If you keep tolerating nonsense and you tell people you tell victims keep quiet you know don't get into trouble those are bad people you cannot beat them you screw you okay because you are telling the victim to shut up you didn't go through what they went through you went and actually support the people who are stronger and evil i i don't think you are good people you are worse than them right so yes a little bit of things that taking out today but i am actually deeply hurt uh, by when I see racism, when I see people trying to be trolls, they know very little and they do not give proper respect to people who does deserve respect. Yeah, you cannot get respect. Uh, you know, like respect is one thing people decide if they give or don't give. But uh, so far in my work, I think I got plenty of love, respect and recognition. And uh, I know what I did. I know what I did. Everybody has their specialty. My love is doing reviews. I don't care if some guy, I'll just mention one university in Kwantan, this guy wrote, probably is a seller. He's like, Joy, you are just reading from Fragantica. Maybe you should step up your game. Screw you. You should step up your game and face the camera and be a man and try to talk in English without broken English. Uh, you know, a little bit, little bit giving it back to you. This some of these guys attacked me in recent times in inbox. Cannot even speak proper English. They study in a college where there's no students. There's no studies. We went through classes. We went through degrees. We have inside solid build. Okay, we learned what is actually religion, what is actually humanity. You guys don't have that. You have the mentality of attacking, name calling, and that's what you're good for. Okay, we are much better people than you are. Okay, don't call yourself a Muslim. Do not call yourself a proud or better nation. No, nope, you are not. Deeply hurt, deeply saddened, but I will actually feel like I'm actually happy that I got back to my country. I represent my country and I represent subcontinent even, like my friends who have huge love for me, support for me, I work for them, okay? I'm just glad I'm representing Bangladesh, okay? So Chad, hang in there. Bad things happen, bad people happen, but they're going to go away because they are not important, okay? Please, if you are a negative person, look at yourself in the mirror. What are you doing for the world? Who are you? What are you contributing? When people are contributing, it's very, it's very easy to 
dislike if it's very easy to attack a channel and take them down but if you lose all the good people you will be remain with all the evil people and you will feel one day you're just killing each other nothing good's gonna come out perhaps corona is showing us that difficult times we don't have business we don't have income we don't have uh like that peace of mind that we can go out enjoy our life i know many people are frustrated a lot of people realizing nowadays that they were not the nicest people on earth now they realize when they go through hardship when they go through lack of money right so remember this we're gonna all die one day okay i'm not a great guy but i actually try to think okay like when we're gonna die what's gonna happen nobody's gonna remember us if we didn't do any good work okay so be a good good human being try to help others if you cannot try to control yourself without saying rude words it's very easy to use rude words i can use rude words i can beat people up i won't do it not because law doesn't allow me i wouldn't do it because i do not do the same thing that those people do okay so yeah stay positive um do your work uh if you feel your work is meaningful to you you respect you believe in yourself that's all that matters rest god will show you i believe in god so that's it thanks for watching and uh Let's uh, let us be better human beings, okay? The toxicity in a small community, it's very, very bad. If you don't have unity, nothing's gonna last. All right, have a nice day. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.